If you have a dry skin, then you need a moisturizer. No matter the lotion you're using, you either have to switch to moisturizers or you have to add moisturizers into your skincare routine. You're using a beauty lotion, a wiping lotion, or a lightening lotion on a dry skin, it is not going to be helpful to your skin. So that's the reason why you need to get a moisturizer. And if you're getting a moisturizer, you need to get the appropriate moisturizer for your skin. There are lots of moisturizers in the market, okay? There are moisturizers that are good for oily skin types, combination skin types, normal skin types, and there are moisturizers that are very good for dry skin or extremely dry skin and sensitive skin. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the appropriate moisturizer that you need to use on your dry skin to get the best results. This is my very first video for the year 2024, so please, I am appealing to you to give me just two minutes of your time. Just two minutes of your time, okay? I just want to say I wish you all a happy and a spontaneous new year. I pray that the Lord would help you to achieve all your objectives, your goals, and ambitions for the year 2024 in Jesus' name. Amen. I also want to appreciate my special subscribers, my amazing subscribers who have been supportive to me throughout the year 2023. You've been good to me, you've been awesome to me. Thank you so much for all your love and support. May the Lord bless you. And I also want to appeal to you that in this new year, please continue to support me. Please do not get tired of supporting me, all right? Because I still need your support. And as you do, may the Almighty God provide you with people who would support you in every aspect of your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm so happy to have you here. You're if you're new here, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Eno, and on this channel, I do a lot of things. One of which is I do product reviews. What kind of products do I review? I review lotions, oils, serums, creams, etc. Why do I review this product? I review this product so that I can provide my subscribers with information. Information such as how to identify fake products from the original product. Number two, I provide my subscribers with information that would help them to choose the best products for their skin type or their skin tones. And then number three, I provide them with information that would help them to avoid products that could be harmful or could damage their skin tones or skin types. So if this sounds like something that would be interesting to you, something that would be helpful to you, something you would like to know, please do well to consider subscribing to my channel, okay? If you do subscribe, leave a comment below in the comment section indicating you're a new subscriber. I would love to appreciate you. I would love to get to know you, okay? <laughs> So to choose the appropriate moisturizer for your skin, there are things you need to consider. There are some things I think you need to consider. Uh, firstly, you have to consider the skincare ingredients that have been used for the lotion or for the moisturizer. You should not just go to the store, get a moisturizer and just leave. Try to check the ingredient list. Try to check the ingredient list. Even if the moisturizer is formulated for your skin type, there are situations whereby the ingredients used to produce a particular the ingredients used while formulating a moisturizer may be reactive to your skin like some of these ingredients may not be compatible on your skin and that's also another reason why you have to be observant whenever you use something on your skin and it reacts or irritates your skin you have to be observant you have to know it and note it down so that when next you're going to get a skincare product for yourself you'll be careful enough to check out for those ingredients let me use myself as an example when i was in school there was a time one of my cosmates recommended an essential oil to me she was using this oil on her skin and she was looking and it was looking good on her skin it was 
brightening out her complexion it was glowing her skin so i asked her your skin is glowing what are you using she said okay she's going to tell me what she was using and she asked me to follow her to the hostel so i followed her to the hostel and she showed me she was using coconut oil directly on her face she has acne prone skin oh. like she's always having acne on her face and then she told me she was mixing the coconut oil with a particular uh anti-reaction cream a particular antifungal cream sorry so she was mixing it with that antifungal cream and she was applying it directly on her face and it was clearing out all the acne on her face she was not using any cleanser toner or um face serum just the antifungal cream and the coconut oil and then for her lotion she mixed the coconut oil inside her lotion and was applying it on her skin and sincerely it was glowing her skin it was making her complexion look good so when she told me about it i decided to give it a try i decided to use the coconut oil as well she was actually selling the coconut oil so i bought from her and decided to go back home and use it on my skin i mixed it up in my lotion and i because the lotion i was using was for face and body so i just mixed it up inside the lotion and i was using it within a week of using this product <laughs> mm. There was acne all over my face there was acne all over as in i had massive breakouts and my skin was toning down i was getting darker in complexion so i decided to stop using it on my face i said okay maybe it's not good for my face but let me just keep using it on my body and as i kept using it on my body that's how it kept toning down my complexion until i started i noticed that i was really getting dark i had to stop using it I had to throw away the entire lotion because i had already mixed it inside the entire lotion that's the mistake i made i should have just divided the lotion and mixed it in a small proportion since i was trying it out for the first time but i didn't do that so i had to throw away the entire lotion so after this experience i decided i was never going to put coconut oil on my face or on my skin because i don't want that experience to repeat itself again so but about three years ago i used a moisturizer that contained coconut oil as at the time i was purchasing the product i did not i did not uh, check the ingredient list properly otherwise i would have seen there that it contains coconut oil so i used this product and after a month i i was noticing i didn't really pay attention to my skin when i was using it it was my family members that caught my attention that you are toning down you are getting dark what's happening so it was then i now have to come back and look at the product very well like what's happening i checked the ingredient list and i saw coconut oil and i said oh, coconut oil again <laughs> so i decided to stop using the product and it was a very big lotion it was a very big lotion so there are some products that may react on your skin okay they may react on your skin it not you may not have a sensitive skin i don't have a sensitive skin but there are some this coconut oil my skin does not like it so that's why when i put it on my skin it tones down my complexion it could be different for your skin it could be that when you put a product that is not compatible with your skin your skin can start irritating you your skin can, can start doing giving you different signs to show you that that product you put on it is not working so what i'm trying to say is that you need to be observant about skincare ingredients that you put on your body it could be oils okay it could be oils it could be soaps it could be anything so if you use a particular lotion on your skin and you notice a kind of reaction on your skin it could be that there is an ingredient there that your skin does not like so to know the best moisturizer for your dry skin you need to really confirm that you have a dry skin there are people who experience dryness of their skin during the hammer time period okay if you have a dry skin your skin will be drying out all through the year not just during the winter season there are people that only experience a dryness during the winter period after the winter period they don't they don't experience it 
and then there are people that experience dryness all through the year because their skin is a dry skin and then you may not just have a dry skin you may have a dry and sensitive skin so if you do not confirm that your skin is a dry skin or your skin is a dry and sensitive skin then how can you choose the appropriate lotion for your skin you may buy a skin lotion that is meant for dry skin but not good enough for dry and sensitive skin and use it and it will react on your skin for example a person who have a sensitive skin you're supposed to avoid lotions that contains fragrance and uh, alcohol although there are some people that use lotions that contains alcohol and it doesn't react on their skin some sensitive skin type but you know our skin I, our skin is unique okay the way my skin will react on the product is not the same way your skin will react so you have to follow your skin based on how unique it is so a lotion that is good for someone with a dry skin may not be good for someone with a dry and sensitive skin because if you have just dry skin you can use a product that contains fragrance and it will not harm your skin but if you have a dry and sensitive skin if you use a product that contains fragrance or alcohol it may react negatively on your skin so that is why the first thing you need to do is to determine your skin type your, knowing your skin type will help you decide the best moisturizer for your skin if you don't know your skin type not to worry you are about to find out So I hope with that video you are able to find out your skin type. All you have to do is carry out the experiment at your own convenience and find out your skin type. Having said that, let's move forward. There are different moisturizers in the market. There are a lot of moisturizers in the market. There I will be talking about the two major types of moisturizers in the market, the cream form and the lotion form. The cream form of moisturizers and the lotion form of moisturizers. The moisturizers that is written all skin types, and the moisturizers that is written dry or sensitive skin type. So, when you want to buy a moisturizer, after confirming your skin type, then you can now go to get a moisturizer. Now, in my own opinion, using a moisturizing lotion. On a dry skin will not do much there was a time i used e45 moisturizing lotion this is what i observed when i applied the lotion at home and i leave home like maybe after one hour two hours my skin is dry and i need to apply it again especially during the winter because i have combination skin type especially during the winter during the winter i always carry the moisturizer in my bag everywhere i go everywhere i go so from time to time i'll be applying the moisturizer and that made the moisturizer not last long because i was always applying the moisturizer continuously but if i had bought the cream form i would not be experiencing that because the cream form is much thicker and lasts longer than the lotion form 
the lotion form is lightweight and doesn't last long. According to the manufacturer, these lotions and these creams are good for oily to dry skin types. But if you check the product, the lotion form is lightweight while the cream form is thick in texture. The lotion form does not provide enough moisturizing to the skin compared to the cream form. So ideally, if you have an oily skin type or a combination skin type or a um, normal skin type, you can use the lotion form of these moisturizers to moisturize your skin, to repair your skin, to protect your skin. But if you have a dry skin type or a sensitive skin type, it is ideal that you use the cream form. The cream form is much thick in texture, which means that it would last long on your skin. It gives your skin, it deeply moisturizes your skin. The cream form will deeply moisturize your skin compared to the lotion form. So what I'm trying to say in general is that if you have a dry skin, either a dry skin or a very dry skin, use the cream form of moisturizers. If you have an oily skin type, normal skin type, combination skin type, use the lotion form. The lotion form will serve you better. For someone who has an oily skin, if you use the thick moisturizer on your skin, that is the cream form, it may be sticky on your skin because already you have an oily skin. It may be, it may feel sticky on your skin and may not really absorb quickly into your skin. But if you use the lightweight form, which is the lotion form, it will absorb quickly into your skin and moisturize your skin. So, in conclusion, you have a dry skin, a sensitive skin, use the cream form of moisturizers the cream form will adequately protect your skin moisturize your skin and repair your skin if you have oily skin type combination skin type normal skin types use the lotion form of moisturizers okay the difference between CeraVe's moisturizing lotion and moisturizing cream. Let's get to it. First up, the moisturizing lotion. Whoever says it's good for normal to dry skin, y'all be crazy because this is so not enough for dry skin. The moisturizing lotion is far better suited for people with oily skin as it's much more watery. And as someone who layers a million billion hydrating products, you guys can trust me when I say that this is not enough for dry skin. Then we have the moisturizing cream and this one also says it's for normal to dry skin, but this one I believe it because I actually feel it. The moisturizing cream is super, super thick and extremely versatile in terms of function, in my opinion. It's perfect for people with dry skin, eczema, damaged skin barrier, sensitivity. It's an overall super versatile moisturizer. Just as a recap, if you have normal to oily skin, I highly recommend you to use the moisturizing lotion and for everyone else, the moisturizing cream.